So in the previous problems, we were given a Ka and a concentration, and we were asked to find the pH. Now in this one, we're given the pH, and we're asked to find Ka. So it's just backwards, but it's the same principles involved. So one of the first things we might want to realize is that if we know the pH is 5.2, we can get the concentration of H plus from that, because pH is the negative log of H plus. If we do some algebra with this and, and manipulate it, we can find that H plus is actually 10 raised to the negative pH. And if you want to prove this to yourself, the log of this is negative pH. It's always the exponent in the form, 10 to the exponent. And so the negative of that gives you the pH. So aside from that for a minute, we have this equation. We can find H plus. So H plus is going to be 10 raised to the negative 5.2. So we will type that in, 10 to the negative 5.2, and I get 6.31 times 10 to the negative 6. That is the concentration of H plus. And just to make sure we did that properly, you can plug back into this equation, and you should get the pH back. So if I type the log of that number, I get... Um, negative 5.2, which again, the negative log would be 5.2 in the pH. So that's the first thing we really need to establish, is what the concentration of H plus is. So I'm just going to write this over on the side. H plus is 6.31 times 10 to the negative 6. And I'm just going to start over because I need room for my ice chart. All these problems with Ka and Kb require an ice chart, or you're going to have a lot of trouble doing them. So I, C, E, and they didn't really give us the formula for this acid, so when they don't give you a specific formula, I'm just going to call it HA. And it's going to mix with water. We always just mix it with water. And if HA is the acid, it is going to be donating H+. Plus. So that means you're going to end up with A- minus and H3O+. Plus. And remember, for all practical purposes, H+, plus and H3O+, plus are the same to us. Now, what was the initial concentration? We started with 0 0.60 HA. You can ignore water as always. And this is where people, I think, get confused. You didn't have any A- minus or H3O+, plus, at least nothing significant, before this dissolving occurred. So those initial starts are zero. This H+, plus that we calculated here, this is the end concentration of H+. Plus. So that is my equilibrium, 6.31 times 10 to the minus 6. Because that is, at the end, how much is there, and that's what causes the so just make sure you're putting them in the right rows. This is the equilibrium concentration, when it is actually finished dissolving, which means that it must have gone up by 6.31 times 10 to the negative 6 because it was 0 to begin with. And since this is a 1 to 1 ratio, this also must have gone up by the same amount, meaning that the A concentration is also 6.31 times 10 to the minus 6. So how much did the HA drop? Well, 6.31 times 10 to the minus 6. And if you actually go and try to calculate this, 0. 0.6 minus 6.31 times 10 to the minus 6, you're going to see that the number really doesn't change at all. In fact, it changes so little that I'm just going to leave it as is. And this is, remember, the assumption we made in the earlier problems, that this was so small that when you subtracted it, it didn't make a difference. So now we have our equilibrium concentrations. We know the formula for Ka is equal to A minus times H3O plus over HA. This is the general formula for our K, our constant. Water gets ignored because it's a liquid. And I'm just going to plug that in. So I have 6.31 times 10 to the negative 6, and that's essentially going to be squared, divided by 0 0.60. And whatever I get, that is going to be my value for Ka. So let's see. So when I'm done, I get 6.64 times 10 to the negative 11. That is the value for Ka here. It's very small, which we might expect. This is a decent concentration, and to only have the pH drop to 5.2, um, it indicates a pretty weak acid. So uh, again, this is just like um, going the other way with it. You need the ice chart, or you're going to have a lot of trouble with this. So just take your time with it. Remember the starting concentrations being zero for these, and, and that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.